Welcome, Lumberjack fans, to another edition of your weekly update. My name is Sam Palmer, and the Lumberjacks picked up a big three points this past week with games against the Youngstown Phantoms and the Team USA's U-17 program. The Jacks were able to overcome a two-goal deficit on two separate occasions with a Dante Paleco goal in the last minute to force overtime and clinch that crucial point for the Jacks. Right side, Paleco with speed, turns, takes the shot, SCORES! Then on Saturday, Lumberjacks hosted their teddy bear toss hand against Team USA's U-17 program. A trio of players all had two goals each. Lumberjack lead it. It was kicked off of Drevich. Pitlick, breakaway, scores! Rev Pitlick, another one here on a breakaway. All alone, takes the shot, scores! And then Hayden Rowan scored his first career USHL goal to help the Lumberjacks to a 9-5 victory. Paleco forcing a turnover. 2-1 the other way. Rowan with Paleco. Paleco turns, Rowan shot, scores! Hayden Rowan, his first career USHL goal. After the first goal scored by Lane McKay, over 430 teddy bears piled down onto the ice, all to be donated to the Muskegon Area Rescue Mission. McKay with it, down on the right side, a 2-on-1. Delgaiso crash net shot by Lane McKay, and they score! Lane McKay gives the Lumberjacks a 1-0 lead, and here come the teddy bears, raining down on the ice, not even three minutes into this game. Pretty good to get uh, that first goal out of the way as a lumberjack. Um, and yeah, it was it was good. Uh, it just happened to be the teddy bear goal. Um, those games don't come around very often, so uh, I was pretty excited and uh, happy to get that goal. A pair of lumberjacks were named CCM Players of the Week this past week. Trevor Hamilton with six points, a goal, and five assists, and Rem Pitlick with four goals and five assists. Uh, it's a great honor. Uh, I mean, I give a lot of credit to our offense. I came alive the, these past two games, scoring 14 goals. Looking ahead, the Lumberjacks are getting ready for a Clark Cup Finals rematch from last season as they travel to Sioux Falls to take on the Sioux Falls Stampede. Last year they came in our building, st stole two from us in playoffs, and uh, I think we're ready to do the same. Uh, it's a beautiful building. We'll be back there, and I think the boys are ready. So. Lumberjack fans, that will do it for your weekly update. Now it's time to kick some axe.